The Komodo Island is now available in the game. The game had just finished its maintenance. Players can now update the new patch, log in the game, and enjoy all its new content. With the new version, there are a lot of changes that have been made. Hey everyone, I'm King. Welcome back to King Spade channel. With all of the new changes that are implemented in the game, players may get a little overwhelmed on what has been changed, what to do, and even where to start. In this video, I compile a list of of things that I think are important for players to know and be aware of so you are in check and updated of the new version. Alright, before we go on further with the video, I want to give a big thanks to this video's sponsor, Razer Gold. Razer Gold is the unified virtual credits for gamers worldwide. Use Razer Gold to buy games and in-game content. You can make a purchase using Razer Gold in over 42,000 games and entertainment content. From 10 August to the end of August, recharge a minimum of 40 ringgit with Razer Gold in ROX and score 3% bonus Razer Gold. You will also earn Razer Silver for each dollar you spend with Razer Gold. Every dollar spent with Razer Gold earns you 50 Razer Silver. Accumulate Razer Silver to redeem Razer gear, games, and digital vouchers. If you also play other games other than ROX, specifically Diablo Immortal, you can earn 5 ringgit cashback instantly when you top up minimum 630 eternal orbs or more using Touch and Go e Wallet. All you have to do is log in to your Battle.net account and select Allow to provide access for Razer Gold to connect to your Battle.net account. Upon redirect back to Razer Gold, enter your email address to receive purchase receipt and any promotional bonus codes. Proceed to select your recharge amount and check out. Your eternal orbs will be credited to your game account directly. Product is limited, so get it while stock lasts. Promo links are at the video description below. Alright, first, the character level upper limit is increased to 110 level. This means that your character main start attribution upper limit is also increased. So you definitely want to reset your start if you do do not have enough start points and reallocate your main start to max to the new upper limit level. Second, the equipment maximum upgrade level is increased. The maximum level of weapon is increased to level 220. The maximum level of armor is increased to level 110. And the maximum level of accessories is increased to level 55. Looks like players cannot just stop at upgrade awakening level 5 or 6. But this have me wondering, as this upgrade level increases, and who knows, it may keep on increasing for next version, will it eventually reach a success rate of only 1% to increase just one upgrade level? Because right now, it is already difficult to upgrade one level due to the low success rate. I think the game really need to start consider on other features to make the character stronger. Third, the guild blessing. The guild blessings assisting attributes are adjusted and new attributes are added. Now we have other start for guild blessing. We have physical penetration, magic penetration, hit, flee, crit, and anti-crit start. So if you have extra guild contribution points, you also want to get few stars here to increase your character status. Fourth, Komodo Island have new set of enchant for weapon, accessories, and armor too. So you might want to look on that as well. That being said, there will be new enchantment stone that you can craft for the Komodo enchant. And with that, the life skill, fishing, gardening, mining, and so on. On, their life skill level upper limit is also increased. Fifth, the Komodo monster difficulty is adjusted as per mentioned by ROX. I guess the monster's flee and crit resist stat will be lowered in this new version. Personally, I don't think that the SEA game developer need to change anything. A stronger monster will motivate, or in harsher word, force the players to better the equipment and start in general. So it is beneficial to the players in a sense. But I also understand understand that considering the PvP content of the game is already difficult and only favored to limited of players, the grinding part of the game should be enjoyable to the rest of the players. So this is a good thing overall. 6. With the new map Komodo Island, new event is also available. The Komodo event. For the entire month of August, AFK or farming monster on the designated Komodo map to get the event exchange materials, which can be exchanged for limited costumes and various growth materials. An ROX official
Angel also said that the drop rate is higher when you go AFK in the new Komodo map. I wonder if the cut drop rate on the designated map will also increase. The event is fairly new and we still don't have enough information on that. If you already get a drop cut in the first few hours after the game finished maintenance, please let me know at the comment below. 7. Ultimate Showdown has been totally revamped. It now has entirely new content. Players will need to kill monsters to obtain all types of weapon from all different classes in the game. Depending on what weapon you get, you will change into that job class and battle each other. The last player standing will win the game. 8. Class Balance and Optimization I had covered this on my previous video and as per expected, these updates are also being adopted in SAS server. I link the video at the video description below if you want to know more on the class balance details. But most importantly, the priest resurrection skill is now reverted back to 3 seconds and is updated to follow the Taiwan server class optimization in this update. The priest resurrection skill now has 3 seconds fixed cooldown but uses 60% SP to cast. But not only that, the game also added a penalty for resurrection after death in PvP mode. I haven't looked at what is the penalty yet. Maybe you can tell me at the comment section below if you already know it. And 9th, with the new Komodo version, a new sub-server is also available. The name of the new sub-server is Komodo and it is in the Odin server. So if you want to start a new character or just starting to play the game, this is a perfect time to do it. You will start fresh with a lot of new players. All of the players can support each other in the game. No one is left behind. All start with the same starting line and let the race begin. Alright, that's it for this video. This time video shoutout goes to... Thank you for always supporting me and this channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. And also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. That's it for now. I'll see you on the next video. And as always, happy playing. Bye-bye.